They wanted to throw this away, but I decided to give it another chance at life. This old desktop was ready to be recycled. I saw that it had some potential based on the i3 processor, as well as the condition it was in. There was also enough I.O. with this desktop. I asked his former owner if it would be a problem if I took it and gave it a good home. There were no objections. They even placed 12 gigabytes of RAM inside the tower. Granted, it was DDR3 RAM, but it was decent. But since the processor, well, well the whole computer, was manufactured sometime between 2013 and 2015, it would likely only handle Windows 10 at best. So it would very likely just be a Linux machine. One thing I did not get with this computer, a hard drive, which I understand why, security reasons. The good news is that I had a spare I could use. It was a solid state drive in my very old MacBook Pro, may it rest in peace. Then it went inside this nearly 10 year old laptop but this has been an error prone laptop no matter what OS was inside of it. So I didn't mind taking it out and using this for the main drive. But this one is game. Okay, cool. It was also a good time for my first son to get to know the inner workings of a computer. Yes, a friend. Under that is a processor that uh, the fan cools it because these things get really hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did discover one problem when I got this drive out. Where the heck was I going to put it? The SSD was pretty small, but the hard drive bays were very wide. Made more for old drives like these. So I had to improvise. Using some old screws I saved, I was able to attach it to the rack on one side to prevent it from moving. It may not be best practice, but this machine isn't expected to get moved around a lot anyway. For now, it does a trick. I then attached a SATA data cable and the power connector to the drive. Before I close it up, I noticed that the RAM wasn't installed properly based on the instructions. Therefore, I needed to seat the RAM sticks in the proper order. Dim slots two, then four, then one. That was quick. It was then time to find the spare keyboard, mouse, and monitor, along with some cables to get this all started. Now, when it booted for the first time, there was an error likely because of the old Linux OS that was on that SSD. But I already made a bootable thumb drive with Ubuntu, a Linux distribution that is free. I will leave the instructions from Ubuntu on how to construct such a thumb drive in the video description. Before I did that, it was a good time to go through the BIOS settings to check device specs, ensure things were working normally, and also change the boot order to boot from the USB drive first instead of the internal drive, this was so that the ISO file can load to install Linux. I was finally able to get it to work, and the rest was fairly easy. It took a few minutes to install, but it was fast. Once I was logged in for the first time, I was able to install the update to the OS. I was later able to get it moved to my desk. Once I got the appropriate adapters and cables, I was able to get it set up for two screens. Despite this being an older desktop, Ubuntu boots up very quickly. Usually, these Linux distros don't need as many resources as Windows and Mac OS. Now, for those wanting to experiment with Linux, whether it's Red Hat, Ubuntu, um, Parrot OS, Kali Linux, whatever it is, this is a cost-efficient way to go about it. Just take an old machine, maybe fix it up a little bit, and there you have it. So next, I plan on installing a secondary hard drive uh, to do a dual boot for a Red Hat Linux. And also, I would eventually like to install uh, a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card in there. So stay tuned for that. Also, if any of you have recommendations for what to install on this machine for our home lab, please let me know. I'm kind of a newbie at this, still taking input. Please let me know what you think and I uh, greatly appreciate that. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps out a lot. And I uh, hope you all uh, have a great new year. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again next time. Be safe.